What's up, teammates? We back. I know this look familiar if you have been on our channel for a while. You know what this is. You know where we at. But if you don't, we are at Paseo de Monteo for the Bicaruda Sunday mornings in Merida. Yes, we had to come back, y'all. This is like our first week back in Merida, and we had to make sure we made it to the Bicaruda so we can ride our bikes like always. You know it. So thanks for tuning in. And if you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss none of these upcoming videos. Let's, Let's get, get into, into it. it. From D town to H town, you know that I got you, girl. Know that I'm gonna love you forever. It's my town and your town. Now that we're here, we gon' build this empire together. When you smile, I smile. As long as I got you, I'm gonna make sure that you smile forever. Yeah, two down, I'm so proud. No matter the weather, we gon' pull through the storms together You're my queen and I'm your king You're my love, my everything You have my heart and yours with me I'm feeling like it's destiny Alright y'all, so if y'all don't know about the Bikur... I don't even know if I'm saying it right Bikaruda? If y'all know about this, it's pretty cool Basically, all you do is come out here you rent bikes. The bikes are very, it's not really expensive. Um, about 20 pesos for a bike. And you just rent the bike, you get on it and you just ride up and down the street. And I like it because we're able to see all the stores, the vendors, the big buildings, like everything that we pass is so beautiful. And I just like to see it. So we had to come back. I'm excited. I'm ready to get my bike. Sam's over there getting our bikes for us. I'm about to get on there. We're about to, you know, go for a little ride. So right here you see the price of the bikes. These are in pesos, so don't freak out thinking we paying 20 American dollars or 50 American dollars for bikes. It's literally like one or two dollars, that's about it. But when you go up to the table, they're gonna ask you for a few things. They're gonna ask for your ID, they're gonna ask for your phone number so they can text you if you know, they can't contact you or whatever to get the bike back. And then they're gonna ask you if you want it for a few hours or if you want it for the full day. I believe it was $20 per hour and 50 pesos for the full day. You get to choose which bike you want. So it's many different types of bikes, different colors. Some of them have two seats. There's carts in the back. There's baskets on the front. Any type of bike you can think of, you can basically find it out there, so. It's important to get out there early because the selection gets very slim. And as you can see, some of these bikes be a little raggedy and then they have to fix them, but they don't have any problem fixing them. They'll make sure that you have air in the tire, make sure your brakes work, make sure that everything works for you so you don't have any problems on the route yep so as you can see my boy right here he tightened up the handlebars on the bike he was doing aisha's first i had to make sure he seen me my bike needed some work you see i'm turning the steering wheel the the, the tire going the opposite way i wasn't worried he was just like give me a minute so it's trying to be patient it was a little warm i was ready to get to it step one wake up really gonna rise with the sun step two get some good some food in you step three Grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up. While you on a route, you're gonna see a lot of people Some people walk, some people skate, some people ride bikes some people ride scooters some people run like whatever you want to do you can do it i don't care what nobody say if you got the electric scooter you cheating you ain't out here really getting that work in i need to see sweat dripping from your forehead whether you're jogging running or riding a bike So this right here is like one of the favorite parts. I feel like, you know, as you can see, it's a bunch of people up there. This is one of their like super popular areas. Man, they even spray painted the damn Montejo thing. Yeah. 
Alright, get your driving skill. I gotta send you to my driving school, baby. You can't tell. It's a lot of like spray paint and stuff all over it. I guess they were having a, a riot or a protest recently. If you guys know about the abortion and a women's rights issue that we were having in the States a couple months ago, they were also having that one here in Mexico as well. A lot of the female protesters decided to spray paint all of the nice monuments and the buildings and all everything that the government owned, they spray painted that shit up. Yeah, so we were trying to figure out what was going on, but they was like, hey, they were mad, they were protesting. And man, it's literally everything sprayed up. I was surprised the Porsche dealership up here wasn't spray painted. Did they spray paint the Porsche dealership? Oh no. <laughs> I was gonna say, bro, you spray paint my dealership, I'll be mad as hell. Like, bro, what I got to do with your rights? <laughs> Finally, we've reached the finish line on the other side. So we went from one side to the other. opened the route so much farther than it, what it was so it was really cool and let me tell you this route was so long when we finally got to the end we were so happy so this is my happy dance we have reached we have reached the end we'll dance <laughs> hey this shit was so far do your dance man this shit was far as hell. We gotta ride back. Fuck. My shit is red, bro. Mm. I ain't never had that. 
Bro, we rode I'm far as hell. Right There's only like two people rode down here with us. How you feel? I'm tired. Tired? Yeah, I know we about to get some good ass food. I smelled some tacos being, man, I'm ready. So we gonna go to the vendors? Yeah. We can? Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's go. So we're about to show y'all the vendors, see what they see what they got over there to eat on, and yeah. After that, we was yeah. hungry. Uh, need a, what you need? Two waters. Um, those. Since we reached the end of the route, we decided to find some food. The food that we found was so good, y'all. It was this lady who had a restaurant with her family and we ordered tortas and they were delicious. Man, it was hot, so we actually wanted some water. He had, she actually sent her son across the street to get us some cold water because they didn't even have any water at the time. I think we were like probably one of the first customers. There wasn't too many people sitting down yet. It was still kind of early. We like to get in and get out before it gets too hot. She was actually happy to let me film her while she was making the food. The food was so good, y'all. They had this good sauce. You see that red sauce he just slid? Ooh, it was delicious. I want one of them torches right now. we decided to take the bikes back and we needed to go to Walmart. When you return back to get your bikes, they're gonna take the bikes back and tell you you're all good. Please don't forget whatever identification you left, whether you left your passport, your driver's license, any of that, because I'm sure they, they're so busy, they won't even think about it. So make sure you don't forget that. The best part about um, the bikes and stuff is once you're done with it, you can just turn it back in, get your little ID back, and you're done. It's no long-term commitment. You pay your little money, get your ID back, out of there. Until I buy my bike, because you know me. I need a bike. He's I don't want to just ride on Sundays. I want to ride all the time. Where are you going to ride at? Through the city. They got bike lanes. Okay. <laughs> Headed to Walmart. Walmart is about, Walmart is about a two-minute walk down the road, so. Headed there now. All right, y'all, so we done with Walmart. We just went to Walmart to get a few things. I really didn't find exactly what I was looking for, but whatever, another <laughs> time. So we want to end this video now. We're about to head home. And that's Thank you it. guys so much for watching, tuning in as we enjoy our Sunday morning bike rides. Hopefully, we, we, got, we gained a new subscriber from you guys. If not, it's all cool. It's all love. Make sure you tune in to the rest of our videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell so you don't miss no upcoming videos. And, and until, until next time, time peace. peace.